hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel now since we know what is microsoft defender for identity let's just go ahead and check all the prerequisites that you have to keep in mind before you go ahead and deploy mdi in your environment now the core agent of this video will be covering license requirement permissions requirement network requirements and sensor requirements now in order to deploy MDI you need any of these license SKU to be available in your tenant or in your subscription now in my scenario I have M365 E5 license which is basically having every possible uh, defender capability that Microsoft has released but for all obvious reasons I always recommend to go ahead and read the official documentation by the OEM uh, whenever you are deploying and this is something which is applicable not only to licensing requirement as well as network requirements okay so make sure you have any of these licenses before you go ahead and deploy MDI now from permission standpoint in order to set up MDI you need to be at least global admin or security admin okay and once you have set up uh, the MDI workspace fundamentally speaking then there are three different groups which are created in Entra ID and then you can use these groups to grant permissions to MDI console okay now the very first one is Azure ADP admin and then you have users and then you have viewers now once again this section that I'm referring to is required to set up MDI and this section that I'm referring to is the set of groups which will get created once MDI is set up in your environment these are two different things altogether so in my case if you see this is Azure ATP then my directory instance name and then you have admin viewers and uh, users now the obvious reasons is uh, because I have set up the uh, MDI workspace here in this particular tenant okay now if I talk about sensor, the very first component, it can be installed on Active Directory servers, which is domain controller. Then you have ADFS, then you have ADCS, then, and then this is something which can be installed on Entra Connect servers as well. Now, majorly, obviously, all these servers will be Windows servers. So you need to make sure that you must be using at least 2016 or above. Okay, This is the very basic requirement that you have to keep in mind then this is what Microsoft recommends again it all depends how much uh, mature or how much traffic is actually getting routed to your ADFS servers or ADS, ADCS servers or fundamentally domain controllers but these requirements are the minimum requirements to begin with and I'm I can assure you that these requirements will never work in a productive environment you need at least threefold of the compute power which is mentioned over here to make things work I'm sure about it and I've seen this n number of times however these are generic requirements mentioned on the documentation so I thought of highlighting it here however with this being said it's always better to go ahead and check the default set of requirements which are available so you can see it shows you here what kind of uh, core how many cores are required how many uh, how much RAM is required fundamentally speaking and then it shows you this particular list and everything so make sure that you check uh, this document as well uh, when you go ahead with the deployment but I'm trying to summarize as much as I can so make sure you know you have a proper path in terms of following the right set of prerequisites now the next thing is Microsoft Defender for Identity sizing tool now again this is something which is available here on security.microsoft.com itself so you need to log in here with your global admin account then go to this particular section of identities and click on tools you will see these four different sections now the very first one is documentation and then you have this section of sizing tool which refers to this particular section that I'm showing here on the deck now once you click on open tool you will be routed to learn.microsoft.com and then when you click on download tool which is this particular option it will redirect you to a github site you can see this is an article over here and from here you can download the tool now once you download the tool 
there will be a zipped file which will be downloaded and you can fundamentally extract that zip file this is how your tool this is how the extracted folder will look like and then this is a tool that you have to initiate now the purpose of this tool is to make sure that it monitors the activity specifically on domain controllers okay i repeat this again specifically on domain controllers and it lets you know that whether the particular server on which you're trying to install mdi server everything is going to work as expected or not okay now here it shows you the clear instructions in terms of how you should run it it's the same file so when you extract the folder this is the file that you have to run which is try sizing tool let me just make it extra large okay this is the file that you have to initiate and then there will be two different reports the reports will look something like this i'm sorry there will be one dedicated report per instant uh, that you are initiating so let's say if i run it right now there will be again one more report available these are two different reports now this is how the report will look like it will kind of show you uh, the time frame where it was busiest fundamentally the traffic which your machine is receiving and then it kinds of show you a report let's say whether you need any additional resources when it comes to compute or not okay so you can see it shows me that yes but additional resources are required at least add one more core so make sure before installing mdi sensor you should go ahead and run this sizing tool specifically for domain controllers don't miss to run this tool on your domain controllers i'm repeating this again now the sizing tool determines whether your server is supported based on busy packets second per second value which is calculated based on 15 busiest minutes over 24 hours of period of time so this tool will keep on running and it will show you something like this if at all you know uh, there is any recommendation and the best part is you can run it on multiple machines or you can run it on one single servers and you can get a detailed report okay so this was about sizing tool now the next thing that you have to download if at all you are facing any issues in terms of connectivity is the defender for identity module now there is a dedicated module that's available for defender for identity and again this is something which is available here you can see powershell module you can go ahead and download this and run it on your server itself now if you want you can also run the readiness script on your domain controllers and ca to report a dedicated defender for identity prerequisites are in place or not and this is something which creates a kind of fundamental html report in terms of making you understand if there is anything which is missing now this is something that uh, i would recommend uh, you should do post installation because this is something which is going to check all the advanced configuration when it comes to policies and let's say if there is a dedicated policy that gpo fundamentally which is required for adfs auditing if it is enabled or not right similarly it goes for ntlm auditing now there are many other aspects as well but still i would want you to run this post you have installed because then you'll i mean it is much more relatable in terms of what you are doing what is missing whether you need a specific activity to be added or performed or not right so after performing the sizing tool part go ahead and download the powershell module you can just run this command which is install hyphen module hyphen name defender for identity and it will install the powershell module on your particular server so just for your information on this particular server where we will be installing mdi sensor i have already downloaded and installed the specific module now the next aspect uh, which is moreover related to network i mean nothing new this is kind of uh, now same with majority of solutions which microsoft has to offer that make sure that if the traffic is routed through a proxy server ssl inspection should not be enabled so assume this is your domain controller and here itself you have whitelisted all the urls which are required by mdi which is basically this particular list then in this case obviously there is no issue this particular machine will directly communicate 
to uh, the cloud service itself and all the data will be uploaded or let's say all the logs or all the events will be uploaded however if you have a proxy in between uh, let's say the DC has to be routed uh, or the traffic from DC has to be routed through a proxy then you have to make sure SSL inspection is not enabled okay now when it comes to security.microsoft.com page there is a specific section you can navigate to and it will give you your workspace name okay so let's say I go to settings and then here I can just click on identities which is this option and then here it will show me all the settings which are related to MDI these are all different settings which are related to MDI and here I can click on about and it gives me my workspace name which is this one okay now let's say if you want to test this from your server that whether your server can communicate with the ATP service or not or let's say MDI service or not then you can just run this command from PowerShell which is invoke hyphen web request hyphen URI and the actual workspace name added to this particular URL okay so you can see over here it's HTTPS then my workspace name sensor API dot ATP dot Azure dot com try sensor API ping and if you're getting this result it means the network park is kind of sorted for you okay so one last aspect again that I would like to emphasize on is the network part I mean the set of endpoints which are required so as of now this detail is available in this particular article which I will be sharing in the description please go ahead and read this if at all you face any issues related to network and the other part is this particular section which is required ports okay now it also shows you uh, the direction from which uh, what is the source and what is the destination so let's say if you're defender for identity for if defender for identity sensor has to highlight anything which is related to DNS server then port 53 fundamentally should be opened from defender for identity server to your DNS server okay, these are all required ports uh, which are required for different kind of detections so make sure that you view this as well okay so this was all about knowing all the prerequisites which are required to install MDI in the next video we are going to see how many types of sensors are available and we'll get started with installation and configuration of classic sensor now if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time